Hello, and welcome to Low Fidelity. I'm Kevin Seal. This is a game show. It's all about music. We're all playing from remote. There's no way to study for this game, as you've been studying for it your whole lives. There's also never a penalty for guessing. Let's meet our contestants, shall we? First is JB. Welcome to the show, JB. How's it going? Glad you could make it. JB lives in Dallas now, but he was born and raised in Evansville, Indiana. JB tends to champion the less celebrated albums by bands. For instance, his least favorite Led Zeppelin album is Led Zeppelin 4. Also, JB is obsessed with the song Angel of the Morning and all of the different versions of that song. Who recorded different versions of that song, JB? There were like 40 different people, even in different languages. Wow. So many versions. Okay. I mean, I know the Juice Newton version. Yeah. And then and Rush was the big one from the old days. Okay. Was, and then, uh, yeah, there was even a good version by the Pretenders. E.P. Arnold did probably the best version. It was quite a song. Nice. Yes. Well, fantastic. Glad you could play today. Uh, you're going to be playing against Shag. Welcome, Shag. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. It's an honor, really. Yeah, well, it's an honor to have you. Shag lives in Chicago now, but was born and raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Shag grew up on pop and new wave in the 80s and Aquanet hard rock. Uh, Shag sings and plays guitar in a band called The Hard Stop, which put out an album called Herman a few years ago, which is available on all of your streaming platforms. Uh, Shag says that the, they are now working on their sophomore slump. How is the sophomore slump going for The it's Hard slumping. Stop? It's slumping. We're in a pandemic. Everyone's sort of separate from each other, so we're not really in a basement banging out tunes and fixing each other's stuff and making each other better. We're just left to our own devices and probably coming up with stuff that, you know, may not work out. Who knows? All right. Fair enough. Well, well happy slump to you. Thank um, you very much. Yeah. And uh, let me introduce both of you to the greatest co-host in the world, Christopher Fortier. Christopher. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Pretty excited about today's show. Um, oh, applause and applause hey. and applause and everything. That's awful nice. Uh, so uh, sophomore slump, all I got to say about that is uh, I've been trying to get together my second record, uh, my second solo record. And uh, and here's what I think. Write one good song. That's what I think. And the reason I say that to you is because I'm really just saying it out loud to me. Write one good song and the rest will come. Um, little known fact, somewhere there's a photograph of me with Juice Newton. Uh, I was unable to find it for the show. Kind of sad about it. Um, just so, uh, our good friends at home, just so you're all in the know, this is the penultimate show in, uh, season two. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy summertime. And, uh, and so next week we're going to have our season finale featuring, uh, celebrity contestants, uh, John Doe of the band X and Victor Krummenacher of the band Camper Van Beethoven. But today, today we have celebrities all our own, Shag and Jason Blair. I'm excited to play some game. How about you, Kevin Seal? I'm excited to play some game too. Nice, let's get into some buzzer words. Oh yeah, buzzer words, right. Yeah, well, let's start with Jason. What's your buzzer word gonna be? Uh, shiny. Shiny, cool. And when you say shiny, raise your goddamn hand. Just say shiny. Shiny. Right on. Shag, what's yours gonna be? Mine's going to be rock. Rock. Also, dig it. All right. Um, let's not tarry further. Let's play low fidelity. Let's do it. All right. Our first category is finish it. Finish it works like this. I start a lyric. You finish it. You can cut me off at any time if you think you know what lyric this is. All right. Did you ever wish me dead? Oh, lover boy, I'll feed the head. No, you must, no, you must not go away. How will you ever walk again? And I, I might as well be dead, but I could. All right. I can try start here. I, I can try doing uh, my best impression 
of the woman who sings this song, it's not going to be a very good impression, but I'll try it. Okay. Did you ever wish me dead? Oh, lover boy, I'll feed the head. No, you must. No, you <laughs> must not go away. How will you ever walk again? And I, I might as well be dead. <laughs> I'm out. But I could kill you instead. PJ Harvey's song Legs about cutting off the legs of her lover. Son of a bitch. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> All right. Next up. Your attention, please. Now turn off the light. Right. Your infection. Yeah. I haven't got all night. After your, your infection, please, I haven't got all night. Understand. Oh. You understand. I'm a gentleman. Yep. Yeah, Afghan wigs. Afghan wigs. Gentlemen. First points on the board. Shag. All right. I will be with you again. I will be with you again. And so we're told this is the golden age. Uh, Rock. Jack. Uh, and, and war is the reason, or uh, this is the reason for the wars we wage? Yes. And gold is the reason for the wars we wage, you too. Yep. Hey. yep. You too. New Year's Day. Very nice. Okay. Next week we'll solve your problems, but now, fish fingers all in a line. The milk bottles stand empty. This one requires a little bit of a British accent. It's got to be a Radiohead lyric, I think, but I don't. Uh. I'll, I'll, I'll attempt attempt a little a little proximity of it. Right. Okay, let's see. Next week we'll solve your problems. But now, fish fingers all in a line. The milk bottles stand empty. Maybe I never actually listen to songs. <laughs> <laughs> and that next line, do you want to take a stab at this one, Christopher? I'm stumped. You got okay. me. Next line is, stay glued to your TV set. That is X Lion Tamer by Wire. Oh, hell. All right. Last in the category. Last in the category. Oi. Confidence is a preference for the habitual voyeur of what is known as... Rock. Park Jack. Life. Park Life. I blur. Yes. Yes. Well played. All right. For our next category, Christopher Fortier is going to kick it off. Right on. Here we go. This one's called Name This Diddy. All right, it's an easy enough game to play. Uh, I'm gonna play a song, or Kevin's gonna play a song, or a short chunk of a song, a segment of a song. As soon as you know what the song is, raise your hand, give your buzzer word, and, uh, and name, this, name this ditty. Uh, this one goes like this. You're right. You do need to write the word down. Uh, Pixies, Caribou? Yes. Yeah. JB's on the board. Yep. Pixies, Caribou. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. I'll take the next one. 
Uh, please forgive my messy living room. All right. Rock, the bed's too big without you by the police. That is correct. The bed's too big without you by the police. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. The next one goes like this. I saw JB's hand. Oh, I thought I said shiny too, but uh, he was gone, Led Zeppelin? Yeah. That is correct, sir. Yep. <laughs> on that one uh i don't you got me there too all right that would be uh susie and the banshees christine Shit. Okay. or an attempt at it little bonus question on that christine by susie and the banshees and the bed's too big without you by the police what do those two songs have in common hmm. both produced by hugh pageant oh, oh no. i think yeah. i gotta give you the point for that same producer nigel uh got uh no 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 yeah not, it wasn't Godridge, it was Nigel. Hippercock. He did the first three police records. Correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Well, Nigel Gray. Nigel Gray. Same producer. Gray. Same producer was the answer. So this brings us to our halftime, our musical guest. Our musical guest tonight is Shag. Um, his band, The Hard Stop, and their video again. Take it away, the hard stop.
The video is a cavalcade of stars, including Oprah Winfrey and Pete Best. And well, Michael Caine. I, I believe they used that because they were all rejected or talked about whatever, and you just stick with it and blah, blah, blah. Excellent. And why Liverpool was not in there, but Leicester City was. Ah. <laughs> for their championship. Ah, yeah. From Chicago, Illinois, uh, the hard stop. Thank you. Uh, we will have links to their uh, to their song on the Low Fidelity page after this. And for those of you playing at home, whoever gets the most points, the most hearts from Mod Low Fidelity tonight wins tickets to a show happening in the Bay Area tomorrow night. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. If you're not in the Bay Area, sorry, but you, but you could give the tickets to someone else who may be closer to that. All right. So, back from the half, Shag is up by two, which means it's a very close game. Um, JB could easily launch himself into the lead with this next category, which I've been waiting for the right two contestants to play this category. It's called Flight 666. <laughs> Every question in this category is about Iron Maiden. Let's do this. <laughs> First up, on which side of London did Iron Maiden start out in 1975? South, North, East or West? Rock, West. Sorry, JB. South. Nope, sorry, Christopher. East. East is correct. Yep. Hey! First points on the board, Christopher John Fortier. All right. <laughs> Steve Harris is a noted West Ham United fan. I had to roll yep. with West. Oh, it's yep. a good yeah. Iron Maiden's 1981 album, Killers, did not yet feature Bruce Dickinson as their singer. Who sang on Killers? Right. Um, that's going to go to JB. Uh, Paul Diano? Yeah. That is correct. The band's 2010 album, The Final Frontier, went to number one on the album charts in 28 countries. Which of the countries, I'm about to say, was it not number one in? Merely number five. Okay. Which of these countries did it not make it to number one, only number five? Canada, Brazil, France, Italy, Colombia, Mexico, Japan. Shiny. JB. Canada. Oh, sorry. Shag. Um, I'm going to wait. Can you name the countries again? Absolutely. Canada, Brazil, France, Italy, Colombia, Mexico, Japan. I'm going to say Italy. Sorry. Christopher. Uh, Mexico. Nope. Japan. Japan, huh? Yep, Japan. Only made it to number five in Japan. All right. In what other job has Bruce Dickinson worked while with the band? Rock. That goes to Shag. Uh, he was an airline pilot for yep. uh, Astraeus Air. He also was a radio show, talk show host for BBC Radio for eight or nine years as well. Yep. Correct. 100% correct. All right. Last in the category, Flight 666. Iron Maiden's 17th album, Senjutsu, comes out in a few weeks. It's a double album. It ends with a trio of songs that all together are 34 minutes long and written by only one person, written by Steve Harris. What does Steve Harris play? Fuck bass. Shag went in first. Bass it is. <laughs> All right. Category I wanted you to win, and it would be this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well played. For our last, well, no, our second to last, our penultimate category in our penultimate, penultimate show of season two, Christopher Fortier. Right on. Right on is a uh, segment that doesn't turn up very often, but I'm always delighted when it does. It's called The Old Collage Try. I'll play a little theme. <laughs> There we are. All right, the old collage try. Um, so uh, so here's how the old collage try goes. And the cool thing about it is a lot of chance for some points here because there are two points for every question. Um, one of them is named the band and the song uh, based on the verbal cue and the visual cue. I'll give you an example. Here's one that I'm not going to use. Uh, and I were to just put this up on the screen and give you the clue. Uh, 
What would it be? Mock <laughs> beetle bum. Exactly. So no one gets that. No one gets no one gets a point for that. But just to give you an idea, there's a collage that'll go on the screen. It'll be way clearer than that. Um, but so yeah, you get a, a visual cue and and a speaking clue. Uh, here's the first one. Raj, you got that image for me? All right. The original 1979 pressing of a certain English band's London Calling record failed to list this smash hit on the album artwork. Tony. Uh, JB. Uh, Train in Vain. Train in Vain. And the name of the band is? Right on. So that's two points for Jason Blair, one for the band, one for the song. Right on. All right, Raj, next one. All right. 1983 was a big year for this Irish band. They released the singles, Two Hearts Beat as One, New Year's Day, and Two this one. Bag. Um, uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday, you too. That is correct. All right, let's go with the third one. All right, uh, prior to achieving superstardom in 1987. <laughs> Swan Swan Hummingbird by Rory M. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Raj. Okay, uh, this glitchy jazz funk number was on a certain English and French ensembles 1997 album, Dots and Loops. Oh. That would be from Stereo Labs, Dots and Loops. That is Ticker Tape of the Unconscious. Oh, Ticker Tape. Who knows what Ticker Tape is anymore? Come on. Right? <laughs> uh, cool. Got one more? I think we got two more. Maybe we have two more. Oh, right. Uh, a certain English goth punk band recorded a covers album in 87 featuring songs by Roxy Music, John Cale, Iggy Pop, and this song by the band and Bob Dylan. Also the theme song for Absolutely Fabulous. Oh, right. Uh, the punk band. Nope. Uh, judges call time. That would be Susie and the Banshees. This wheel's on fire. I had no idea. Yeah, it was actually a Bob Dylan and Rick Danko song. Cool. Uh, and I think we have one more, Raj, do we? No, you used it for your <laughs> opening. Oh, got it. Okay. I think well, we there was one point game. We got All a right. one game, and this brings us to our final category, which is Helter Shelter. <laughs> Helter Shelter works like this. You each take a piece of paper and something with which you can write. We give you 90 seconds, and we mute our microphones, and you come up with as many examples as you can think of for the topic in that 90 seconds. For people playing at home, put one comment for each answer. Don't put all of your comments into one answer because then Mod can only give you one heart. All right, so tonight's category, since we're all going back to school, it's about schools and education. We wanna see every song you can think of that's about schooling, teaching, education. 90 seconds on the clock, here you go.
Four, three, two, one. Pencils down. JB, let's hear what you came up with in your 90 seconds. I'll read them off, I take it? Yes. Um, uh, school's out. Another brick in the wall. Mm -hmm. Teacher, teacher. Hot for teacher. Mm -hmm. Beauty school dropout. Nice. Learn nice. to fall. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah, that's great. Six. All very strong. Shag. Up for teacher, school's out, another brick in the wall. Don't stand so close to me. <laughs> Learning to fly, Tom Petty. Learn to fly by Foo Fighters. And that was it. All right. Well, we have a tie. One point difference remains, right? Because they each got six. I see 13, oh, 14, 13. 14, 13. My apologies, I couldn't keep up with you guys. I think you're just one. <laughs> All right, congratulations, both of you. Bag takes a W today. Very, very close game. Down down to the wire for, for certain. Uh, thanks for playing. Next week, we will see everybody, same time, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, for John Doe from X versus Victor Krimenacher from Camper Van Beethoven. Shag, JB, thank you so much. Until next time. Thank you. Stay home. Thank you. Stay safe. Pleasure to be here. So glad you could do it. Yeah, yeah.